Hello, YouTube. Hey. I feel like because carnival is next week, I needed to have more new glasses. Just so that I can remind myself of all the Batty rolling festival. Batty rolling. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is us. Right now I think it's still under construction as this is Jody. And we are going to be doing our Tuesdays with Tricky Show live on IG on Tuesdays at 1.30, which is now, so we're about to go live over on um my oh no, we're not gonna go live because we not have no service. Oh, this is like a thing every week. I was just about to say. All right, now we're checking connection. And then everybody's gonna cuss us that we're late, even by a second. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're doing good. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Who's that? Exotic, Exotic collections. collections. Drew is here. What's up, Drew? That Brie Burke. Fall Brie Brie Burke. Oh. Where's Fitz? Where, where, where's the crew? Where's check-in? Check-in. Hi guys, welcome. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. So much going on. So much going on? So much going on. What's going on? I'm in my swimsuit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to put on a shorts. I'm in my swimsuit. Oh, 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 oh. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here in the air conditioning for an hour of foolishness, you know, just, you know, <laughs> foolishness, you know, her structured hour. foolishness, structured her foolishness. Yeah, I like our foolishness. Our foolishness is fun. All right, guys, on my IG, just remember that you can catch the rerun if you miss anything, which you shouldn't. You can catch me over on, or sorry, you can catch us over on I YouTube. I about to say. Okay, okay. Um, this is Jody. It will soon be This Is Us, but for right now it's This Is Jody. So make sure you catch the rerun. Um, I can't read with these glasses. You can't read? Tricky, you are. Go Why is Aye. that the comment that I read? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, guys, so be. I'm all dressed up, ready to go to the beach in uh, my fabulous gear. And Tracy here has on um, a nice little. What do we call this dress? Well, this was a dress, and I was wearing it as a dress, but then I decided I think I want to use it as like a long jacket. Oh, that's nice. And I thought it was really cool. Okay, so you guys can check out Interiors by Eraline. Um, she has resort wear, she has masks, she has, she, um, I, whoever's been here before, quite a bit of you. You remember we had some like guns, some nano guns, some sanitizers, sterilizers. That's all, Eri um, interiors by Erlene and also now she's added some glasses some fancy you know I, this swimsuit is actually really nice cinches a waist it's a swimsuit so I'm ready to head to the beach yeah I like those glasses on you you do yeah I like them too it's hard to read though all right you look rich oh girl it's all about looking rich put back on my glasses so you guys can check her out and I believe I just saw a post she's having a Valentine's sale um, what was the code? What was the code? I don't know. You don't know? Let me log you guys on. I put the, her link in the description. Sorry. I don't know where that big yarn came from. This is my nap time, actually. Interiors by Eraline. You can... Slim thing, Shauna. You reach. <laughs> Hi, guys. Mm-hmm. Wi-Fi in here. The Wi-Fi. No one... As usual. Oh, passion for fashion. She yes, the Valentine's time. Day sale is 20% off if you use the coupon LOVE. She has caftans, she has um, all kind of little like dusters, I like to call them. Lots of sexy swimsuits, there's gym wear, um, there's sandals, there's the nano sterilizer so you can spray the stuff and then it has a light at the end to like, you know, light the stuff up. Light the stuff up? Light the stuff up. Check her out. Alright, this oh. is, this is, I, I need a drink. I need a drink. I need a drink. I need a drink. Hey. What you got to drink today? What I got to drink today from a Lady B. I got peach thyme, a peach thyme whiskey sour. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm, it does. Did you bring a straw? I did. Oh, okay. So anyway, I was thinking, right? And remember when we used to have lunch time at school, in the school cafeteria? Mm -hmm. What do you really miss from lunch time? Like, what food do you really miss from lunch time? Well, every day I would get the soup. Because the soup was the cheapest. I think the soup was $50. No. Don't, 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 Asia, sir. 
Hmm? No, it was fifty dollars for a piece of chicken, and then the super thing was like one fifty. So I'd get a super and a one piece of chicken for lunch. And every day I would beg money, I would save the money my dad gave me to buy a party ticket. And every day, lunchtime and after school, I would beg money, and then I would use that money and buy my lunch. That's enough for you. Does anybody know me from Immaculate? Beggy, beggy, Jody. Yeah, me same one. I know it was in the yearbook. Favorite statement. Beg you a five dollar on a pretty girl. <laughs> yes, sweet, sweet girl. Beg you a five dollar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. yes. But then I was able to go to the parties and, you know, I was able to go to the expensive parties too because I had my money saved up from lunchtime. So, but I did so you, I asked my question was, what do you miss? The soup, the soup. The you soup. Miss the yeah, soup. yeah. Mm. I'm a soup girl. So that's why I'm excited. Is that why you're trying to throw, bring this in? Or you didn't know I would answer that? I didn't know you'd answer that. I'm just having a convo. What oh. do you guys miss from your... um? Somebody said cheese bread. Cheese bread. You love my childhood stories? Mix up. What Which you year you graduate Immaculate High School? 19... No. Are you... Are you like that? Me? Mm -hmm. I graduated 2000. I graduated 2000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your lunch expensive? That's because I'm not old, Tiffany. Box food with orange juice. Boy, after that, mother want to see. I remember Tiffany used to always buy candy. Sloppy Joe. Our school did go. Fried rice. Yes, 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 yes. Immaculate yes. fried rice. Rachel and there was fried rice and it was good. The fried rice would always sell off. You probably never got fried rice. I didn't beg enough money for fried rice. No, fried rice is expensive. Mm. Oh my gosh, chicken and roll. We never did roll at my school. We just did. We did box lunch. And then the chicken and roll at Andrews mm -hmm. in the white bag. I remember you also I went to, to two get, high schools. You used to also bring home these honey buns from from Andrews. That was from Andrews. Oh gosh, they were so good. Their cinnamon, their, it was some kind of dessert that they had. It was so good. I'd bring them home. Mm -hmm. Um, my Instagram, I kick you off of the live stream every minute. Oh my goodie, I have to work on your Wi-Fi and uh, data I'm on right now. Alpha mm -hmm. Sloppy Joe. Oh, you had Sloppy Joe at lunchtime. That's how I love a Sloppy Joe. So anyway, for the first couple months of dating Sean, he thought that I had... How do you get sloppy joe and then return to Sean? I don't, because I'm talking about what we're going to talk about next. Oh. So when Sean first started dating me, I love soup. I love soup, I love soup, I love soup. The honey bun from... Yes, Aisha, the honey bun from Andrews. Anyway, I love soup. And he thought I was like a sickly woman, that something was wrong with me. So he would, you know, he'd say, why is she always drinking soup? She always a drink soup. She always a drink soup. She asked my mother if something wrong with go out and a beer soup, may I drink soup, may I drink. So this next product, I was really, really excited for it because it's soup. So guys, you can see, oh, this is Saturday Soup by Jammin' Foods. All right, check this out. It's Saturday. Sa sa Saturday Soup. All right, so this works like the cup of noodles where you add in your boiling water and you let sit for five minutes. So we're going to try this out. And I think this is really, really, really great. This is 50% less sodium than um, the cup of noodles that come from overseas. So I'm just going to put some. So oh. this is a Jamaican product? Yes, it is. It oh. says Jamaican Saturday soup. See that? Take a look at the labeling and read. Jamaican Saturday soup. Oh, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. So Saturday soup little water well filter the line is this for me yes wow thank you all right so it's gonna uh, sit for five minutes i guess i sat the soup on a tuesday afternoon boy every day could be soup soup is so what great what a blessing i love soup i just think soup is filling it's hearty it's made with love you know i just love it all right so this flavor is a chicken um do they have any other flavors not right now, but they are coming up with other flavors. And you can get these um, Boom Bang. Boom Bang Boom Wholesale. Bang Wholesale. Family Pride. Um, you, you can, you, you can, and it's a very reasonable price. So for the entire case, it's $1,200. And the case having 12 in there. What? Yes. So when you're hungry, I just think this is such a great option. Actually, one thing is a great option wait, if it tastes good. Hold on. $1,200 for the case? Yeah. And how much come in the case? How much was it? 10 or 12 in the case? 12 because was it 12 yeah because yeah, we worked it out at a hundred dollars for one yeah it was 12 in the case what is that yeah that not bad that good that not bad that not bad all right so we're letting it sit for five minutes we've added our flavors and what i like about it so i don't know i i've been obsessed with cup super blade it's just easy and you know what 
in the beginning of the pandemic when there was no cup soup available because everybody buys it out thinking it was an apocalypse, right? Like, I don't, I, I have a problem with that. Oh, the okay. apocalypse. No, we have our Jamaican one. And because you couldn't find the cup soup, it's like you do want the cup soup. You know, supply and demand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But no, you can get your own Jamaican Saturday soup. Okay, okay. So okay. we're going to wait a little five minutes to make that steam down, you know? Like it's steam down. Yeah, steam down. Alright, mm -hmm. I wonder what other flavors they plan on coming up with. Mm, if you find out, you can follow their page. They're tagged below. I pinned the Guys, I remember to pin my comment. Finally. Are you wearing swimwear, Jody? Yes, I am. I'll go stand up and give you a little look. My YouTube channel can't see so far, but... Oh wow, Joe, that's pretty. I love the one shoulder detail on it though, eh? That's my fancy. And it's sewn really well. That's fabulous. Yes, it's sick. There's padding in the bra. Oh, my YouTube can see my body. <laughs> Let okay. me turn around and see your bottom. Okay. Okay. So it's not that's, a that's big, what they do. Yeah, it's not a big mama jamma in the bottom, so it's sexy. No, it's same sexy way. in the back. Yeah. And then there's some padding here, and it's like mm -hmm. it's thick, but it's th you know you know you know them cheap thin spandex. This is like the thick. These are the goodies spandex. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. So you can check her out interiors by Erlene, and she has other swimsuits too. But what I liked about this, this is so different. It has polka dots here, and then like fruit. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. cute. I would wear this with a jeans, but I forgot to put them on. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So, you can check her out. Anyway. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for our soup to cool. Anyway, guys, we don't want you to go anywhere. We have a... S sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know. I just got really tired. I guess it's a Saturday soup vibe. You know, you eat your soup and you take a nap on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's discuss a little something while the soup is, soup is brewing. Well, let's discuss the COVID spikes that have gone up high. I don't want to talk about COVID. Yeah, but what we're in the closet. We're forgetting what's going on outside. Oh. Oh. I was just wondering what the prime minister is going to come out and say if we're going to get locked down again. You think if we get locked down, coffee will come out with a new sound? Ooh. Well, yeah. that's something to look forward to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so too. Locked down for your second time. What you gonna do? Let's make a rhyme. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We should call coffee, actually. We can have a Malta with her. Mm. She likes that. She yeah, so much. We don't talk about COVID. Move on, move on, move okay, on. Okay, so I was talking about coffee and having Malta with her. Oh, Malta. With coffee. Wait. Oh, the coffee Malta. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, okay, okay. Yes, now you get me. You're on it. You're on it now. <laughs> Thank God I have these to deal with her. Big up to Lady B Mixology today. My mix is peach thyme whiskey sour. This one is really good. I had a sip. I, you know, I like the whiskey. I like whiskey. I like the whiskey. But let me tell you something. Those things are dangerous because I had to stop sipping because they taste so good. They taste really good. They taste really, really good. They taste so good. And she has she like, oh, it's thyme. Oh, see the pieces of thyme in there? That... I never thought of putting thyme Did in a drink. Did you get her to... Are you going to get her to do the punch bowl for Levi's yes, party? Martin? Um, yeah. Do a punch bowl? Yeah. Like, and call it ninja juice. Mm hmm Okay. For the adults, ask her to do something nice. Mm -hmm. That'll be nice. Mm. This one is really good. The thyme is adding like a, a like, not like a grown-up flavor. Yeah. yeah. And I'm kind of like, mm, what's that, you know? Yeah. I lo like a sophisticated flavor. Yes, yeah, like, oh, darling. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And here being a sketch, I'll popping my booty in my swimsuit on a Tuesday, but it's okay. I'm drinking thyme. So did you do anything for Super Bowl? So it was cousin Sarah's birthday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. I don't know how many of you saw. I made a lovely post. She had the cutest party. Ooh. My idea. As, yawn one more time. Sorry. Yawn one sorry. more time. I want to try to put my hair up. Maybe that might prevent me from yawning. Um. So, much. so yes, it was called a Sparty. So we're trying to come up with cute themes that include. Um, that include that everybody feels included the birthday girl or whoever the host of the baby show or whatever they all feel included they feel special they don't feel like they're missing out on the large numbers so a sparty you can have uh, how many did Sarah have I think she had eight of her girlfriends if it was that much no she and, had, it was five okay and, and then um, the boys came the boys came for the cake cutting at the end but the sparty they had little facials it was just honey and of course I saw the girls going 
like that. Honey, they got little pedicures. Oh, cute. And they all sat down in these cute little chairs and everything was decorated so nicely. Um, big up to Cara Anderson from Petals and Promises. Cara and did that? Yes. Wow, it yes. looks really good. And the cute little Shavari chairs. The chairs, I mean, to me, the chairs stole the show. Those chairs were so cute. Um, and the girls just, you know, got their a little pampering, big up to picnic pampering. And I thought it was a very cool party. Sarah had a wonderful time and they got robes and so the robes were, was a take home. Mm -hmm. So I think that Sarah, with this smarty, she felt, you know... Celebrated. She, she felt celebrated. And she didn't miss But out. she didn't miss yeah. 30 kids at the party. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So that was a great idea. Um, somebody was saying to talk about the Gorilla Glue Girl. I don't really... Like... I'm kind of sad that that became such a big thing because now I feel like people are going to look at that and be like, oh, that was a good idea. Like today I saw a Sleek post a picture where they had lashes and the Gorilla Glue and I'm like, some idiot is going to try that. And that's, I, 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 I don't know, I just think that's so, that's so reckless for the pages to make that into a big deal. It's not funny. I mean, I hear you, but I have to disagree with you. Like, really? at some point in time, like, people have to take responsibility for their own actions. And that was a dumb move. Like, that type of Gorilla Glue does not even sell in the same aisle at Target. Like, what do you do? Yeah. You have to go into the hardware no, 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 section. No, 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 no. I think that, I don't think that she made the mistake and used the wrong Gorilla. I think that she was like, yo, I'm so sick and tired of redoing my hair. Yeah, I'm going to use fool. this, that. But every action is a reaction and because her consequence sucks you can't blame other people for her being an idiot like she's an idiot if we want to tease her for her being an idiot well then we get to tease her like sorry no, you're I, an idiot and then i see an, on one of the one of the clips that she did she was in the hospital like she looked sad like she looked like she was crying she, she was hurt she's going to sue the company on what account though yeah on what account? it says i'm sure it says that, on the bottle not for keep away from skin Apparently she's sweet. I am Leah Rose. I don't think she, she can. She doesn't have grounds to stand on. She, she doesn't. She has no grounds to stand on. She doesn't. On. No, and I'm not saying because somebody was like, Tricky, she made a mistake. Who was that that was saying, Tricky, come on, she made a mistake. And I'm not saying that people don't make mistakes, but if you are about to use a product on any part of your body, you're telling me you just pick it up and go on? Like if it's lotion, I read the lotion and I read what is in there. If it's like whatever it is, I, I read the ingredients of what is in there. You can't just pick up things and start using them in your head. And yeah. as, as I said that, that product is not even available in the beauty department. It's available in the hardware department of Target or any store. Or she went to the hardware store and bought it. So she knows, she can't tell me you mix that up with a gorilla snot. Like, yeah. come on, it's totally different packaging. Like, no, no she's I, a I big think woman. She, I think she was like, I think this, if this can hold up this, I'm going to put it in my hair and see how well sorry, that does. Sorry, I'm sorry. There's a point at which... Customers, consumers, sorry, have their own responsibility and product developers cannot be expected what you must send home somebody with every product. Oh, this is Saturday soup. Please only use it to eat. It's not to be worn as school shoes or filed down into like dude, come on man. Come on. Or given to children raw. Remy really likes it. She really noodles. she really likes the raw noodles. Remy I cry, you know, Remy I carry on, Remy I cry on a fuss and a fuss. All of a sudden I just hear like I hear, literally I hear this, like a metal, a metal, so I'm like, what's that? Tracy has taken a little metal bowl, right, crack up some of the noodles from in here and give it to Remy, and all I hear is Remy, she loved it, she loved it, crunching loved down it. the raw noodles, it's fine. everybody eats raw noodles, come on, <laughs> well, yes, yes, all right, let me check my, let me check my Saturday soup, let me check my Saturday soup, how's yours? I'm gonna leave it for one more minute. I don't like when my noodles are too soggy, but then I, I think I'm gonna leave it open for a little bit because you see when you start to slurp up those hot noodles. Mm. Need a label. I just want it to cool a little bit. You know, did and Rick Fitzroy is asking, did we watch any of this? I watched videos where she tried to shampoo her hair with the Pantene. First of all, no water and shampoo. Like this girl just seems like a nerd to me. A nerd? Yeah, she's just an idiot. All right, let me take off my lid. But, so, um, you know what? If I can support a uh, Jamaican making their noodles, I would rather support a Jamaican with 50% less sodium over the other brand. Yeah. But anyway, as I was saying, as you we were saying, 
Mm. She's probably gonna have to shave her head one classy shan. Don't you think? Like she would have to shave her head. The gorilla girl. Okay. I hate to do the comparison, but with the other brand, you put it in your mouth and it, you can taste like sodium and not only that, you can taste like preservatives. Here I taste like, you know when you sip off the broth of your soup? Like, what do you think? I'll be honest with you. This is really good. I can't wait for their other flavors. So this is really good. What's about like a red peas? This is excellent. Red pea? Yeah. Red pea with noodle. I mean, come on. I'll be honest with you. I usually hate cup soup. And why I usually hate cup soup is because it tastes like preservatives. Mm -hmm. This does not taste like preservatives. This is not. And the noodles are very nice. They're thick. They're not slimy. I would go out of my way to find this over the guys okay but i like that it doesn't have those little vegetables in the top too like really i kind of miss the vegetables no because i always think how dehydrated and, ah. like, and like over processed like, they are you have the little green bee and it looks like this help <laughs> and the carrot is like and i always think of like how disgusting that is i like that they're not in there because i don't feel like i'm eating something that's so processed you know but this these noodles are good good yeah mm-hmm I wonder if Remy will like them cooked better or raw. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is really good. Do they do they ship overseas? Mm. Not sure. They do have an Instagram page. They've just started up. But hi, Leah. This is so Leah says she throws out the dry veggies. Yeah, this weird the dry veggies, right? But the noodles are very very good, and the broth, it tastes very very good. Like, I will definitely buy this again. Distributed by Jammin Foods on Marcus Garvey Drive. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is good stuff. I'm happy. I will link this. Ingredients. Scott Hard will like this. Scott loves a cup soup. I love a cup soup, too. Salt, sugar, vegetarian, chicken. Hi, Antonella. Okay. Nice. Did you guys do anything for the Super Bowl? Okay, I'm not into football, so let's not get into it. Okay, congrats to Tom Brady and all of his achievements i'm not into football like so sorry i'm not going to be able to answer those comments but hi sandy five but i love going to super bowl parties because i love the hors d'oeuvres and the little pickings and the and the food that they have there. Like food yeah yeah but you don't I need a it. super bowl somebody was asking simone was asking does it taste like pumpkin chicken soup no, no. it tastes like chicken broth like it tastes like but don't say broth broth sounds boring like chicken boiling water it tastes like not a not a pumpkin based soup i mean i guess jamaican broth is different it's true yeah jamaican broth is it's not like the one you buy on it's the shelf spicy. it's really but this is not spicy. it's tasty. tasty it's flavorful it's flavorful flavorful, flavorful. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. not chicken noodle soup either mm -mm. It's a familiar taste, but I can't put my, my, my foot on it. Mm -hmm. Put your mouth on it then. Ah, put my mouth on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I went to a Super Bowl party. Mm. Sorry, somebody keeps asking the same question. How are the results from my surgery? I have my doctor's appointment um, next March, next month. And I'll be doing a follow-up video with pictures and with highlights. So far, so good. Um, yes, oxen princess. Does it taste like Maggie? Yeah. No. Yeah, it kind of does. Really? Yeah. I find Maggie so salty though. Yeah, it's Maggie salt. So it tastes like Maggie, but not as much salt. Very true, very true. But if you mix out the Maggie properly, it's not salty. Yeah. So oxen 69, yeah, it does have that same, like, the Maggie taste, which I like. I like the Maggie. Well, you can't beat Maggie. Maggie been around for 13,000 years. Maggie got the best team. Not that damn bitch know what she doing. She know what she doing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but so I went to Super Bowl party. Well, it was like eight of us because you know COVID. But the host for the little party, she put on such a spread. It was so delightful. And she has this. She has this dip that she does. This salsa. I thought you went to mommy's. No, I went over to my friends first. Scott and I. This is really good. Yeah, it is good. And she does this salsa dip thing. And I just wanted to share it with you because it was so easy, so simple, and so delicious. Scott was like, oh, I love that. 
So she puts a cream cheese down first. Mm -hmm. And then she puts what tasted like a bottle of salsa. Mm -hmm. And then she puts that over the cream cheese. And then she sprinkles Shredded fresh cheese. cut fresh cut tomatoes on mm -hmm. top of that. Shredded cheese on top of that, and then she does a scallion on top of that. Okay, that is a typical uptown brown bringing a dip. That's like the typical uptown person's dip they bring to a party. Really? It tastes good, but it's like it's not a secret recipe anymore, Kingston 8. Well, I thought it was lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did, I thought it was lovely. You see what plentiful to it? It's like Jesus and the fish. It's like sat down the noodles, it can't done. I do army, yeah. This is these are noodles, yeah. Seven layer dip also. Oh, that's what it's called, a seven layer dip. Oh. It was really good. It was really good. I really liked it. Mm. Oh. Sat the soup? Your thing shot. Naga lie. Mm-hmm. Thing shot. I'm I'm really enjoying it. I think this is a great product. I'd go out of my way. To, to buy this and it's a great price point so that means that if I'm buying the case I'm buying at a hundred dollars a cup so That's then I would crazy. Put, I'd put on my markup like twenty dollars maybe up to forty dollars at school at school a hundred and twenty dollars and this is not this is this is not going to finish you're going to you, your belly going full mm. anyway I'm in a swimsuit Spicy tea, spicy tuna, typical uptown girl dip. Okay, spicy tuna. So, what would you bring as a dip? Or are you a typical uptown girl too? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> mm. I like to do a dip too. The dip I like to bring, I, I I like to bring different dips. So, a dip that goes over well for me with my friends is I get the kind of the um the spicy Thai tuna. I get a kind of regular tuna. I mix them together. I put some cream cheese in there. Along with some mayonnaise, I put some pepper jelly, and it's always a hit. And I add a little salt. It's always a hit. Hi, how are you doing? I'm not the dip. Come now. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, da, 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 spicy da, 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 tuna says she loves spinach, so she, I guess she's going to do a spinach dip. Can you do one with Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. <clears throat> Creamy spinach dip. That's always good. Okay. <clears throat> So I wanted to talk to you guys about something today. It's about being in a relationship. Mm. Sorry, I can't put this down. It's good, eh? Mm -hmm. But I feel like my body, I got going to shock. Can I drink the hot soup and the cool drink? Mm. Okay. This is really good. No, it's not about being in a relationship. Okay, it's about checking. No, why are you taking my soup to leave it? I was going to bring those other things forward because we have a surprise for everybody. Okay, here. You need the drink. Correct. Give the pregnant woman her food. Oh. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about, we can bring out these products while we talk about it, is, you know when you've been checking a guy, then all of a sudden he goes to, I can hate that, it's so annoying. Anyway, and then he comes back about three weeks later with the, hits you up with the, hey, how are you doing? Like, what the hell? How do you even respond to that? Do What's you happening respond? in your DMs? No, you no, don't respond. No, it's not. Nobody's... I'm married, girl, and I love my husband. It's just it's not stuff that's happened in the past, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you even respond to that? Like, what do you say when he reappears out of nowhere? Okay, so guess what? He reappears out of nowhere, and you've already gotten over him. Ladies, 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 it is now full time. You do not need for him to reply to you, okay? You do not need for you, him to reply to you at all. Don't you worry. Drop that man. Let him know you don't need him because, girls, mm, we can take matters into our own hands. All right. So... 8JA876. So that's A dot T dot E dot JA876. They want to share a few things with us today. <coughs> a few things. One, I'm going to need a little help with because I don't know what it is at the end. So we're going to try and sort it out. Okay. So we have the 360 rotating. Wait, hold on. This is what's going on? Yeah. Valentine's is coming in on the Valentine's. Full time now. So. This now is, how do we? Jesus, that, that, is, that is a vibration. Oh, look at the three little fingers. Hello, it looks like a lizard hand. 
So what else is going on? Of different speeds. Wow, it goes fast. It goes really faster. Fa Let me ask a question. Where does this go? That tickles your clit and this goes inside. So of you have the little lizard hand going. Yes, that, he's so nice. All right. I don't know if I could last that long with this though. This is like a minute. But hold on. How come all like, how come all dildos and like little things like this, how come they're all circumcised? I don't know if they're circumcised or not, but, but when look you at have, that, you can, that yeah, but when a man who is not circumcised, when he gets erect, it looks like this too. Oh. Okay. So you can um, you should know that. No, I've only known one man to meeting. Anyway, so we're gonna talk about eight J eight J A eight seven six. And you can get all of your um, items here. And this one is actually waterproof. You have to like stick the plug in there. So it's mm -hmm. waterproof. Um, comes with a cable charger. I actually like that little handle thing. What, that you can hold on to it like, yee-haw! <laughs> I'm a hootin' tootin' dildo carrying chica. What you up to? <laughs> Don't mess with me and my dildo. That's not a dildo. What is that called? It's like a mix between a dildo and a and a. I I I. I just can't get over this movement. It's a motion in the ocean. Oh, Nana is here. That's not that. Mm, 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 mm. You can get a massage with this. Yeah, not on your face. It's oh not my a gosh. facial massage. Oh my gosh. Look at the little hand. Look at the little hand. Look at the little hand. <laughs> You know, I get caught up on wall. <laughs> How long do you think you could last? What do you mean? This last or before me last? You last before you orgasm using that. Well, it goes pretty fast. Yeah, I know. Like a minute and a half, two minutes. Right. So what I'm saying, guys, you don't need 30 minutes. You just need to do the job well. So we, who said we need we needed 30 minutes? Okay, this next one here. I don't know. Some people here. are like, I don't want no one minute. The man. remote control vibrating egg. This one has a remote. I'm not really sure. I was trying to figure this one out this morning, but what I was really trying to figure out is, look at this little, what is this? Yeah, because like, a lot of the um, nerve ending, oh my gosh, it's lighting up. A lot of the nerve endings for you to orgasm are actually in the first inch of your vagina. So you don't need something that touches your your like nose hole from inside. Oh my goodness. So then so I just turned it on? You'd switch the you switch the speed. Oh. 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 So this is like a partner loving thing? I guess so. You know you see those things that they have on Instagram and the girl is like, oh blah blah and the guy goes and presses a button and she's like, oh I would like that. Yeah? Yeah. And actually that sounds interesting. Like you're at dinner and you know. Your partner, you but know, this, this little Uber stopper like here, like you know, stop you in your tracks. This little. So hold on, how do you turn it off? Ooh. So, but this has twelve functions. Twelve? What the hell do you need twelve functions? Twelve functions? That's a lot. Ooh. Where's my drink? Holy hell! But how loud are they? No, if I was there, so. So it was just on. It's not loud at all. Can I get the remote? It's not loud at yeah. all. Uh -uh. It's on. I mean, if you're at a party and there's music playing, you're not hearing that. I just find that, it, I guess you'd have to be silent on a bed beside somebody and then you'd hear it. Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. -huh. Uh -huh. Well, one of my, one of, the one that came that I really thought was really cute was this little showstopper here. So this is the lipstick, you know, just a little whipper stopper. Wait, where am I getting this word from? Wow. Hold on. How do you turn it on? Ah, there we go. The vibrations in these things are really good. What the hell? Like that little thing just has so much power. So like you're like at the club, you get horny, so you back out your lipstick? Yeah, like, you know, I'm like, oh, this line at KFC. So, oh, it has different settings. You can be like, oh, I'm at KFC, it's taking so long. Where's the bathroom? I don't know. 
What are you what? into? What are you into? How do you mean what am I into, George? You just like masturbated in KFC with your lipstick vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what you're into, you know? I love this one though. It's cool. You can pack it in your bag and like, I guess you can keep it in your drawer and nobody will know what it is as well. A bullet, case, yeah. yeah. In case you have roommates or stuff like that. Or like a super fast helper who always wants to be in your business. <laughs> Super fast helpful. This one is mm. really cool though. You like that one? Yeah. Alright, yeah. then we have this wand one here. I actually have one like this. So I have a wand thing in my bob here. Let me see that one. Let you see this one. This he one is also nice toys, water though. Yeah, he does have a lot of nice toys. So I went on his page. The page is the, the, the page um he had a page before and it got deleted. So this one is his page, his page looks really wild. Um, it's 8JA876. I will uh, look below in the description. So you just look at that. You press the flower. Press the flower, and here we go. Hey! You have this one? One similar. Mine is longer. <laughs> this is interesting. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like a little, you know. I like that one too. And it has a different settings. That, you I know. still like the I still like the wild and styling. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Alright, so here is, these just don't have to be used to pleasure yourself. You can use them to pleasure somebody else. Partner. Oh yeah, exactly, you know. You can have a whole drawer container of things that you know you're like, hey babe, it's Thursday night. Go pick something. You know, you're not Talking Go of. pick something. Yeah, because you have a draw of things. I think that's so interesting. I do too. Is that how you roll? Whoa, 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 whoa. Depends on what you're into. I shall not judge. So, and it's nice and comfortable in case you're um going to be there for a while. So you have your little straps here. <laughs> Jody says in case you're going to be there for a while. Well, what I would oh do is goodness. I would get two of these because you get this one and then I strap this. Why do you think I have those big poster beds? So you just strap this to the poster bed or I can strap your hands behind you. You know, strap this to the poster bed. Get li look at the detail on that. Isn't that fabulous? That's something you'd notice while you're being strapped. Wow. Here's the thing. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, but these can unhook. Very good. Yeah, let's think about safety. I don't know what this is. But well, these are very comfortable. I mean, you could wear these kind of a day if you wanted somebody what to... What are you going to do? Strap yourself to the truck? You want somebody to know what you're up to. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of, kind of a part. What is that? I don't know, like, maybe, oh my goodness. Oh, your hands are up here and your feet are in these ones. What an awkward position. Who said that? Well, what else are you going to strap on there, like a, a hand of bananas? Oh my gosh, imagine if you had this in your kitchen with your fruit attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> and someone who knows what they're doing comes over and is like, ah, oh, I'm it's for hands and legs. But then, who is more embarrassed? The person who had it for their bananas and fruit or the person who knew what but it that's was for? But that's too close together. Like, my legs would be here and then my hands would be here. That's not... I don't know. Maybe you put it behind you? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. This is... This is very interesting. Spread out. Oh, maybe the feet go on the outside and the hands go in here. Well, I guess every every time you use this, you can try out a different, like, like it's kind of like Connect 4 or something. You just try mm. something. Spread a bar. You freak. She knows what that's called. It's from Fifty Shades. Guys. He controls you like that. You guys are rude. They're so freaky. I know. They know it's a spread of I thought we were bad, but no. you are Okay, like... lay on your back, right? Yeah. yeah, chocolate chip. 428 is telling us what to do. 
Legs can go have... at the end. Right. Okay. And I I don't know. Wait, so we're on our back, our legs are in the legs. It spreads your legs. How? I don't know. She says we need to go watch 365. I watched that movie, but I don't remember this. Put it around your ankles and spread it. I don't get it. Spicy Tuna is dying with laugh at us. Spicy Tuna is having a great time with us today. I saw this in 365. What is 365? You didn't watch 365? No. It's on Netflix. Keep that bar closed tonight and watch it with Sean. Yes, so when you're scrumming from pleasure, you can't close your legs on his face. That's what she said. What? Yeah. All right, hold on. It. Jody's trying it on. Jody's trying it on. Oh, I think I got it. Put my butt's out. Oh. You have to go over to the YouTube version. My, my bottom's out there. Oh. Let's go back over here. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, now I see what's happening. Well, that's interesting about a spreader bar. You guys. It's very interesting. All right, out of all the toys, which one is the one that you would rate for different positions? You guys are bringing out the inner freak. I know. I think that's interesting. Like, I think if I was to buy a toy, I would buy something that I don't have already. Like, I want to try something. Well, obviously, you don't buy things that you have already. So do what? Not, don't tag Sean. He'll be like, "You had that in the house." <laughs> mm. The egg. Hmm. Is that the one here? I don't know. I guess it's, it's like what? You guys want? I don't know. I think I'd want to try to spread a bar. Mhm. Mm spread like butter, you know. Spread a bar. I think I tried to spread a bar. Mhm. Mm yeah. I don't know. I wonder how much it is. His page has like a lot of different items on there. And I believe... I like the cuffs because they were cushioned. I think I get those. He posts often. Like since this morning, he's posts like four things. Mm -hmm. And um, you can see where he actually discusses like a few of the items. So it's 8JA876A.T.E.JA876. And he... um. He discusses some of his items, like what they do, blah, 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 blah. And you see some people here who have bought the items. Whoa. Hmm. Wow. I curved the glass down. Well, I like these. I like these because they're so comfy. I mean, I just don't find I'm going for comfort. What are you talking about? Maybe because you're pregnant. I mean, I don't want to go off with like cups on my wrist from a from a handcuff that just like cut me up while I was getting like jam juked. You know? True. Then you, you have to go to work or get out of the house. Yeah, and you see this. Mm -hmm. What happened to your hands? Oh, I was trying to catch some goats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Mm. So I it's, prefer those. So guys, um, hear me Halloween. Woo. Valentine's is coming up, so make sure you get your freak on. We don't want a regular sex on Valentine's Day. We want some spread out, strap up. You want some, want some spread bar sex? So we want some spread bar sex. So ladies, get yourself some. It's called rose peak position. Yes. Yes. We, we, want, some, we want some different, different, different. I, you know? I still like this guy the best though. With this little, with these guys right here. I oh, 8JA876 is on the live. Hi. Hi. How much is this? A T E J A eight seven six. So, oh, it, um, Jody is really interesting. I, in I'm it. very interested in it. I just find it can you what know? I believe I find that. But I'll just say, oh, that's for the pet I was going to buy you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Speaking of pets, we're gonna buy. I'm I'm gonna buy Levi a fish. You better not I'll fry the fish. So we can get these for comfort. This is it's too much to mix them to. I don't know. I wouldn't mix them. I'm not. I'm not that advanced just yet, you know? Mm, mm, mm. You know? So, ooh, what an excitement. So we can use a spreader bar. The bar is $6,000. Not bad. But, I don't know. I just don't know if I'd like to be confined like that. I find it's Velcro. You'll be okay. 
Mm. I'm more confined in a carnival costume. Mm. Watch 365. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I have a movie to watch later with the spreader bar. The handcuffs are four, so 4,000. So, um, with the comfort lining on the inside. That's one that, that's one that I would get. Let's talk about this one here, you know, where you can. I love that one. Rootin' tootin', yeehaw! With the little hand that caresses the clit, yeah. same time. It's like, you know, don't forget me. Hi! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so how often do you guys think it's normal to masturbate though? Well, are you with somebody? Like, what are you doing? Having sex so with yeah, well, even in the day? Okay, some people might need that. What if you're with somebody? The rabbit is 6.5. That was... Hey, anyway, mix That's what you up. have in your hand. Oh. What? Yes, the rotating... That's what you have in your hand. This is 6.5? This is big for a rabbit. This is like a whole, this is, this is an elephant. No. So see, some people are saying every day, every day they masturbate, even though you have a partner. You freaks. I don't think it's freaky. I think What so. do you mean? You, where do you get all of this time? Honey, it doesn't take any time. That's what I'm saying to you guys. Like, I don't believe that a man, a man needs to go for like 30 to 45 minutes. Like if he just does the thing properly, you can be done in a minute. Like, and then he get this like, sweaty body off of you, you know what I mean? Oh, dear Lord. You know what I mean though, guys? Like Somebody says up to four times a day. I think you need to get a job. Whoa, That's whoa, a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot. How Instagram and Black on yet? So you can check us out over on YouTube. The link is in my bio for the repeat. And you so know what, on. if they block us, that's fine. We're heading over to YouTube. I just have to go back to right away. Was, was that your name who said you masturbate four times a day? Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> what does it matter? I mean, I just I, want to know. like a teenage boy. Like. Six, Six times, times a day, day or around the clock? No way. Listen. What are you talking about? Your this little wand one is really your cool. Your pom-pom must be so swollen. Six times a day? Oh my gosh. I can't. I'm sorry for your pumps. Mm. Are you with twice a day? Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and one at night to soothe the nerves. <laughs> well, dude, your nerves are on edge if you're masturbating. This is most a boy. I have three kids. I have two kids. I don't have time for all of this. Joe, I find you have lots of time. So don't be, I don't have time to masturbate. It literally will take one minute out of your day. So what I do? Excuse me, I'm going to go wash my hands or blow, blow dry my hair. Yeah, blow dry your hair with the moisture. Very swollen. I'm addicted. Are you okay with that though? <laughs> <laughs> Chef sweetness, are you okay with that though? I'm a little concerned for you. I mean, I don't know. I'm mm. not judging. Don't, don't, don't. I'm not judging. Do your thing. Pum pum under pressure. Pum pum exhausted. Yes. Yes. It would I be. I mean, sometimes I have to feel like, oh, I don't want no sex. I'm just okay. Well, you these, know? some of these are waterproof. So you can cool down in the shower. Let me help you out here. <laughs> <laughs> But I do think that if you're feeling stressed out, or I do think if you're feeling overwhelmed, I do think a good masturbating session and having that release, I do think it brings about a better mood. Don't you guys agree? Like if you masturbate, you just get happier. Don't you agree? What do you think? Hello? This is really cool. So I'd, I'd come walking into the room like, what hey, you Sean. What, what are you guys you thinking about masturbating to improve your improve your mood? You ready for a root and tootin' good time? I don't know if Sean wants a penis being whipped around asking if it wants a root and good time. No, he doesn't. But <laughs> See, yeah, everybody it, says masturbating brings around a better better arm. I think so too. And I think there's just something that with masturbating that you know, sometimes your partner can't do for you or you just need a really quick, quick pick me up or that like, you know, your partner's gonna take a little bit of time, but you know, if you just get a little quick pick me up or it's, it's, you're good to go. True. You know? 
and then you can if you really need a real quick quick pick me up or because you don't have much time you can get some toys to help Actually, you along the way well obviously you have to i i have to use toys i can't do it with myself by my hands i, I have to use a toy by my hands no i have to use a toy definitely how many toys but, do you have don't worry about it but like i also want to say you know people who are addicted to food and they use food for comfort maybe you can switch it up and get a vibrator and every time you feel hungry go and masturbate and see if you lose weight what don't you think that could work <laughs> tracy you're so crazy because you know they eat to feel happy but if you masturbate you feel happy i like this one i like the little, the little one that i can use in the kfc bathroom oh my gosh the kfc bathroom one is really good though <laughs> Because you can have it in your bag and like if you're traveling and they open your suitcase and just think it's another lipstick, they won't be like, okay, freaky deaky, go on through. How many bags are you declaring? Mm. Well, the KFC one is small enough that you can actually use while you're having sex. Just so you can put that on your clitoris while you're, while this you're one too. inside of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one I is just, nice. It's too. just kind of the shape. Look at that. But I guess it's a bullet on one side. And like a penis on other. This, for the, I'm surprised. These things are really <laughs> like for the size that they are. They pack a punch. <laughs> Nobody's on my new diet plan. <laughs> Nobody's on your new diet plan. The masturbation. Somebody said I want that egg. Check them out. They have. They, and they have way more. Way more stuff than this. A T E A dot T dot E dot J A eight seven six. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you can get yourself some Valentine's gifts. Hi. So. Oh. So. Okay. But like, it's for the bum. Antonella, I've been watching you. You know. <laughs> Antonella, we go hard. Antonella, you come right. We go. Out we today. go. This way, <laughs> okay, Antonella. Antonella. We are not going that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Antonella. Okay, Antonella. Don't uh, judge if you. If, it's fine. That's okay. Do you think? Do you think, do you so think Antonella? Up? Antonella, go hard. Like Antonella. This. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I will never, never forget Antonella after this. Ooh, she's she's yeah. definitely I'm we'll having to pick you up every every mm. every Tuesday when you call me. Like, hi Jody, Antonella. No. Are you here? <laughs> Hello, Antonella. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Goody come right mm. out. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. So little pretty it's little browning cats cats mm. says that masturbation eases the cramps, mm -hmm. the period cramps, better than any sort of medication. Do you guys agree? I agree with that. I agree with that too. I agree with that. I have to say though, Stevie did not like when I masturbated the other day. This is awkward though. Whew. It is awkward. They do have plugs. I think uh, I think having sex while pregnant is awkward. It is. It is. It is. Stand up and turn around. Show the heels. I don't have on any heels. I was actually supposed to put on pants and then I just couldn't bother. I have on makeup and I did my hair. I can't bother with the clothes too. But you could put on like a jeans with this. I love everybody thing that I have hitting on in the right comments. Now. And for my YouTube, you can check out everybody I, on IG. I will drop them in the description box below so that you can check out all of your little toys. And you can check out um, the resort wear that Tracy and I have on today. And also, of course, our lovely sponsor. I know. Lady um, Mixology. La Lady Mixology with the Peach Time Whiskey Sour today. This one is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been enjoying that one. This one gets a 9 out of 10. That one gets a 9 out of mm -hmm. 10? This one gets a 9 out of 10. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And then, of course, oh, almost forgetting to sober me up some Saturday soup. I'll drop everybody I in the mine. description box. I ate, ate all of it. it. Yes. <laughs> I, ate all of I was enjoying my buzz. I sure didn't think I was going to eat it because um, because I had the peanut butter and jelly sandwich yeah, before. Yeah, yo, I could tell she was pregnant. Tracy walks out of my pantry <laughs> with a big loaf like a cornbread. She has jam. She has peanut butter. She has all. She's like, I'm going to make myself a sandwich. <laughs> I don't know, I just was really hungry. Mm. Was that your trickiest corner to, to, to like let us know that you're a freak? No. What the hell? I'm not oh, a sorry. freak. Oh, no, you're not a freak, okay. I'm just a natural woman. 
I think women get just as horny as men, but we hold it down better. You know what I'm saying? I guess because we don't have like a penis getting stiff inside of our pants, but I do get. Wow. No? A penis getting stiff inside of our pants. I. But I am gonna tell you something though. Oh dear Lord, what more could you tell us today, Tracy? So I like it when I'm like lying down and Scott and I are cuddling and I like when I feel him just like jab me in the back with his penis. <laughs> oh, you mean the knock knock? The knock knock. I don't mind a knock knock too. So I don't know. I like Who's there? Knock. Penis. Penis who? <laughs> penis can I have some space in there? <laughs> That was really corny. That was good though. That was good though. I like a knock knock. Knock knocks are kind of sexy, right? Makes mm. you feel like. Well, it depends. Is it like a knock knock or a knock knock? I'm coming in. Because <laughs> I like I like more of a knock knock. I'm coming in. I don't. I like more them. like an intrusion, you know. I like both of them because if it's just a little knock knock, like a knock knock, mm -hmm. then you feel like yo, I wasn't even doing anything, and you thought I was so sexy. Like that's nice, right? No, use a doorbell. But if it's a, and... if it's a knock, knock, I'm coming in. I like that too because it's like, yes, take oh, me true, now. Oh, true, Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. You know? Mm. Okay. Mm. I always imagine being at a dinner party and then like, you know, Scott follows Under me. the table? Oh my gosh. That's one of my things too. Yeah, but you can't under get... the table taking her back as anybody's like, oh, could you pass the piece? No, no, no. At a dinner party and you have one of these things in your in your panty and you know you're, you're... I think he has a, the smaller ones where you where you put this and in and then and then the husband it. is like, Babe, you have the carrots? Oh yes, I do. <laughs> you know? You know? Babe, babe, do you have the and you're just you're like, Oh, I turned it on. Oh, and you're just like, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's not going on as bad as it was on the counter. I, don't <laughs> I wish you guys could see that. <laughs> That's like bubbling all around. No, it's not even doing it here. Oh, oh. anyway. It's jumping around like a little jumping bean. No. I've always wanted, like, we're at a fancy dinner party and in my super long fancy dress and my makeup is on and, like, I've gone around the corner to, like, say, go to the bathroom. All of a sudden, Scott follows behind me and he just grabs me and, like, pins me up on the wall and then just kisses me hard and he's like, mm -hmm. you know? Like, one of those and I'm like, ah, on the wall, like, mm -hmm. Wow. No? You guys don't feel that way, do do you want to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you need a release tray. <laughs> Good lord. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. All right, let's 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 bring it back. Okay, so I have a I have Leo Rosa. You watch too much movie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that doesn't happen in real life, no. Uh, <laughs> life of a king. Wake up yourself. <laughs> so I we'll keep over nothing at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> you go back to making those funny skits and leave us alone. Who is that? Life of a King. Um, oh, 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 hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. We, we're just, you know, having a little fun over here. <laughs> hi. Anyway, I don't know. Give us a little tricky score. All right, let's, let's scale it back. Let's scale it back. All right, everybody. So for Valentine's Day, make sure you kick it up a notch. Like, honestly, we don't want a boring girl in a day for even, Valentine's Day. Any day, just kick it up a notch. Except on Monday. Monday is like, I think Sundays are a great day to kick it up a notch. Sunday? Yeah. No, because you've you done nothing day. all day. No, you will start the week off tired. You will start the week off tired. Like, no, you had a good night's sleep. Friday and Saturday is kick it up a notch. What Sunday I don't understand is, is how come stroke. guys like fall asleep right after they have sex. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Because, because they're, they are putting on a show. They are the headliners of the, the <laughs> Pum Pum Party. They are putting on a show. You know, so after a while, they're just like, okay, I'm not sick for tonight. No, you know, like a knockout, right? Yes. yes, so they're just having like a little, a little rest. They've put their whole effort in and you know, mm. it's time to replenish. Mm, mm, twice mm. on Sundays, mm. go and soak your peas. Sure. I think twice on Sunday sounds really good too. Wake up for a little, go to bed for a little, have some dim sum for a little. Okay. TV just like kicked me. So exactly. Hard. So she's like, no, no twice. Leave me. You're like, you're you're thumping me in my head. Give a give 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 a tricky's corner. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I had my tricky's corner, and it was supposed to start off 
with what to do when a guy reappears with a text out of nowhere. And I wanted to have a cool conversation with you guys about that because I was going to say that when your guy reappears out of nowhere, you kind of, like, it's so annoying and you feel like you ghosted me. Like, there was no reasoning behind where you ghosted me or whatever. So you do want to show the standard that you have for yourself without being too passive aggressive right mm -hmm. that's number one in your reply and number two you do want to express the good thing that you guys feel that you had that has now gone stale because he hasn't responded to you in so long like you know you've already gone through the whole breakup scenario in your head because clearly he's out of the picture and then you want to also tell him that you feel that he's coming back right now. It's a slight bid for attention. Like, clearly nothing was going on for him while he's come back into your DMs right now. Or, what, like, what did he feel? That there was some type of friendship? So what would you say to let him know all of these things without sounding like mm -hmm. a bitch? I mean, you know, you know, long talking. If I'm talking to you and you stop talking to me, then you just stop talking to me. Like, I'm not going to beg you back. I'm not going to let you know that hurt my feelings. You stop talking to me. So guess mm -hmm. what? It's over. Done. Don't even ask me for like a napkin. Like I don't like just leave me alone. You're yeah. you missed out, bro. So that is I could be using this on you. And instead, <laughs> you decided to message Cindy or whatever. So go so have is some no Sunday sex with Cindy. Sunday sex. Sunday sex is good sex. Go have some Monday sex. Yeah, go have some Monday sex with <laughs> Cindy. Don't reply back at all. I exactly say nothing. Infugwe. Go yeah. away, go away. Silence is the answer. Exactly. Designs by Drew says that. All right, guys, thank you so much. Oh, you know what? So we want to have, coming up, we want to have a competition. I feel like this show went by so fast. It did, eh? Yeah, I feel like I haven't gotten to really do it. I feel like also Aaliyah when I wear these glasses. Okay, so we're going to have a, what are we having, a bread pudding competition next week? Oh, so, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, anybody yes. who wants to enter the bread pudding competition, drop us an email, jodajinx876, and um, you can be a contestant. A, mm -hmm. Yeah, and be a contestant. And you know what? We always like to have an additional judge when we are eating, so we will have back Nana in the house, and she will help us to judge the bread pudding competition. So, um, yeah, do you think that's a good idea? Drew, can you do me up another flyer for the bread pudding competition, please? So the bread pudding competition is next week. If you want to enter, drop us an email and we'll tell you where to drop off your bread pudding. I made bread pudding. Jody, oh, Jody, Jody's in Canada. So if you think you make the best bread pudding, you want, you know. Best, the best bread, bread, bread pudding. pudding. Not just any said, bread pudding. You just said the breast. The breast? You just said the breast bread pudding. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, so if you guys think you make the best bread pudding, please enter our bread pudding competition. We are so excited for it. And bread pudding is something that is a Jamaican... I feel like it's a Jamaican dessert, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was originated in Jamaica. I have no idea the history of bread pudding. But, guys, why don't you research the history of bread pudding because I'm sure we can organize some prizes and we can get some things to give away for the answers based on the history of bread pudding. But we would have to look that up too. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, fine. Now, let's get some prizes together. Is Nana joining the judging? Yes, she is. So, guys, let's get some stuff together. Um, uh, let's get some bread pudding together. So, you can email us, jodyjinx876 at gmail.com. That's in my bio as well. And we can tell you how to enter, where to drop off. And, you know, you need to give us the information on where we can buy your bread pudding. And you know what? If you just want bragging rights, you don't have a store, but you just want bragging rights, you can enter too. Mm -hmm. Whether you have a store, no store, whether you just want to be like, yo, so my bread pudding here, it's shut. Then you can send it in. All right? So, guys, thank you so much for joining us this week, Antonella. Ante I, feel like, I feel like we need to have Antonella here one weekend. Um, Antonella just like, go on like one little freaking weekend in the comments, is, you know. Antonella oh. is acting out though like Ooh. she's usually here but she's usually quiet i don't know we are getting to know each other aren't we mm. <laughs> all right guys so make sure you catch the repeat over on youtube this is jody the link is also in my bio and you can see all of the great little friends we had on the show today i think this is a great selection i think he chose very good things i'm very interested in this he may not get this back what is it six thousand dollars no problem 
Wait a second, that sounds like a party. That, that's a party. <laughs> all right, everybody, that, this did festive bad. I agree. Thank you all so much for joining us. We would like to big up our sponsors once again. We have Saturday Soup. Actually, it tastes good. It tastes I finished good. mine. Tracy finished hers. Um, we would like 8JA876. That's A.T.E.8. J.A. 876 for all of the wonderful toys. You can check out their page. They have a whole heap more things and Valentine's is coming. They'll be boring. We would also like to thank Interiors by Eraline. They're having a 20% off Valentine's sale right now. You can check her out on Instagram or on her website. She's um, linked down below. And who else we did have? Who else we did have? How, How could I forget? <laughs> <laughs> Lady B Mixology. Oh my gosh, this today, this was a really good mix. This was a peach thyme whiskey sour. This was a 9 out of 10 today. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It did taste really, mm -hmm. really good though. I'm at the bottom of, I'm at the base now with the thyme pieces though. <laughs> I'm at the bottom. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright everyone, thank you so much for joining us. I will see you next week. Drew, link me, we need to do the bread pudding flyer. And guys, come on, let's get going. We need some bread pudding people to bake for us yeah 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 make it exciting i like when things are in my bread pudding like raisins Did you just say bed pudding i like when things are in my bed pudding too <laughs> bye everybody thank you so much for joining us we will see you next week oh i didn't have enough bed pudding now look what happened yes too much bed pudding for you <laughs> and some pop up in the oven <laughs> bye guys thank you so much for joining us we'll see you next week bye, bye.